Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Yoon Jung-min. The diplomatic controversy between Seoul and Beijing does not seem to be dialing down, which was sparked by the Chinese ambassador here in Seoul, who used rather strong words last week to complain about the UN administration's foreign policy. Our foreign ministry correspondent Pei Yunji starts us off. Last week, the Chinese ambassador to South Korea openly criticized the UN administration's foreign policy leaning towards the U.S., saying that it was wrong to bet on China's defeat. This is what he said during a meeting last Thursday with South Korea's opposition party leader, Lee Zemyung. Some are betting that the United States will win and China will lose, but clearly this is a misjudgment. The Chinese top envoy also said South Korea was entirely to blame for the many difficulties in bilateral relations, and that Seoul will certainly regret it later. The remarks have escalated tensions between the two countries in recent days. During a parliamentary session on Monday, South Korea's prime minister strongly criticized the remarks. The ambassador's move was highly inappropriate. For him to speak in a way that only criticizes the other side instead of improving the two countries' relations it was a very inappropriate move for a diplomat to make. An official from Seoul's presidential office also said Monday that an ambassador's role is to act as a bridge between two countries and that if that bridge does not conduct its role properly, it can harm the national benefits of both countries. Last Friday, South Korea's foreign ministry also summoned the top Chinese envoy, warning that such remarks were absurd and provocative. The country's first vice foreign minister said the remarks run counter to the Vienna Convention, as they can be considered as an attempt to intervene in South Korea's domestic politics. Under the Vienna Convention, an international agreement on diplomatic relations, sovereign countries have a duty not to interfere in another's internal affairs. In response, China also called in the South Korean ambassador over the weekend and expressed strong dissatisfaction, calling Seoul's move unfair. As both sides continue to exchange harsh comments, it appears that it will take some time until the two countries find a way to repair ties. Pei Arirang News.